the story of uh, one of my friends, I can tell this now because you know, he is dead now, that's Sudamo, Indonesian monk, if any of you know him from Indonesia, long time ago, but I met him first couple of years in Thailand. And I turned around and said, that monk's got credible power. You know, could feel it straight away. Because his story was, still a lay person in Java, 40 years ago when there were still jungles in Java, they're really hard to find now, it's concrete jungle now, most of Java. And he went into the jungle just to meditate, to be a bit of a, a hermit monk, a rusi. And so he found a nice quiet place, sat down and meditated. And he described it to me, I remember him telling me this personally. He said he was meditating, it got very still, and he saw this star come to him. Nimitta, that's what a nimitta, beautiful light. And he said in the best English he could, he married the star. Totally united into it. And this is what happens, you get these beautiful nimittas and basically you just join the nimitta. You go right inside of it, it envelops you, you just one with that nimitta. And then you get that into the jhanas. And when he came out of his meditation, it was a long time afterwards, quite a few days when he came out, and he noticed the jungle had changed. He checked in the village, he had actually been sitting meditation in a low spot, there had been a flash flood. And he'd been under a couple of meters of water for days, totally submerged, but perfectly okay. And he came out afterwards, and no worries at all. So in these jhanas, floods, fires, nothing can harm you. So you don't have to be afraid at all. In fact, if we hear that some comet is heading towards the earth, and it's going to hit us, get into jhana quickly. <laughs> And you'll be safe. <laughs> There'll be nothing left when you come out, so I don't know what you're going to do next. <laughs> but you are dying because of the COVID. <laughs> so this is what happens. But it won't happen unless you've got lots of joy. And of course, be prepared for the fear, because these are big states of mind. These are huge stuff. And you're getting to you know, where the Buddha started to hang out. So it's powerful stuff, but it's real. And any, are there any of you who like weird stuff? A lot of people like weird stuff. That monk Sudama, I never saw this myself, but this princess, Thai princess, I was very close to, knew her very well. She was, uh, did some meditation in, under this monk. She, she was meditating like you here, just in an afternoon class, sitting in this Wapawan in Bangkok, meditating, and she felt something weird was happening. So she opened her eyes to take a peek. And she said, she absolutely swears, she wouldn't lie to me. She said she saw rays of light coming out of the monk's eyes into another meditator. Just like in the movies, but this was real. Real rays of light. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really cool to see things like that every now and again, but I can't tell those things to you unless the guy's dead. Because we keep all these things secret. But once people die, then we can let know what goes on. But these things are real, they actually happen, because he had powerful meditation. Really a strong monk.